What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, I'm joined with my buddy Tyler Starkey, a zero to seven K course graduate. He has absolutely been killing the game. Tyler, how's it going, man? Good, man, man. Thanks for having me in today, appreciate it. Absolutely, man. I wanted you to come in, kind of tell your story, tell us a little bit about your experience. So first things first, can you go ahead and talk to us about how long you've actually been in the pressure washing business for? Yeah, Justin, so this, my whole company, TS Services, started out just doing TRR repairs. So if nobody's really familiar with that, so when somebody's selling a house, the buyer and the seller, um, the buyer will have inspections done in the home. So if there's wood rot, there's water damage, tile repairs, those kind of you know basic things um, that need to be fixed before the house is sold. So they give the uh, you know the seller an option to have it repaired themselves, or they'll call somebody like myself to come out. And I did that for a long time. You know, made some friends in the real estate area in my in my area. And then I was doing like pressure washing on like the super side. Like I was the ninety-nine dollar guy without without meaning to be i was doing it as a favor to somebody so they would say hey i need something to take care of like yeah yeah throw me 100 bucks I'll, I'll take care of whatever it is and then i was watching one of your videos on youtube one day probably november december of 2019 and i saw the profits you were making and i stood up because i was i was so mad proud of you mad that i wasn't doing it yet kind of thing it's like what, what why am i not in this industry profit margins are massive the work is fine it's super gratifying and that kind of led to what it is now. So I kind of stopped marketing the TRR side of what I did. I fully started transitioning my company to pressure washing, exterior cleaning, those kind of things. Okay, excellent. So you haven't even been in the business a full year yet, right? No. So really just pressure washing since I would say May. So May, June, July, August, probably fourth month. So a lot of a lot of growth already just for, just for transitioning for what I was doing um, just to this. Okay, excellent, man. So what part of the course would you say that was really a game changer for you um, and for your business? So whenever I, you know, I wanted to do this, you know, you start doing your independent research a lot. So there's, there seems to be a big gap, like a three level stage gap. So there's like level one, which was where I was, the guys wanted to learn. So they're asking all these questions. And then there's like the second level, the guys have been doing this for, for you know, four to five months. Don't really know that much still, but they have, you know, some experience. So they feel like they should be telling the new guys what to do. And then there's this massive, massive gap from two to three, right? So two to three to three, level three guys have been doing this a decade. They, you know, they know everything about chemical breakdowns, um, but the, the information isn't getting passed down correctly down to those guys. So what the course did for me is when I signed up, um, I was really able to focus on some of the Facebook ad strategies that you created. We talked a little bit about that. Some of the things that I've gone through, and you've seen the growth. I mean, you see the my videos and stuff. They're, they're spot on. They, they kill, especially for our area. Our area. I know Scott and I, Scott Let you've had on before. Scott's an absolute killer in our area. Uh, him and I kind of do the same, you know, marketing structure with your ad strategies, and they both they do so so well. Um, but with Aaron's stuff too, there's like there's some chemical breakdowns and stuff that you're not getting that on the street side. So it's super important that you know when it comes to you want to do a massive um, like a, a car a car wash area, nobody knows how to do that kind of stuff. Nobody's talking about it. Aaron gives you that kind of advice to make some massive money in a little amount of time. So it really just the course pays for itself. It paid for itself for me within six hours. I tripled my money. I know you and I talked about that super briefly. Um, so I got in super early. I think I paid the one ninety nine on the last day because I was I was the guy that was like I want to do it, but I don't want to spend the money. Um, but the pressure of like everything was about to go up. I was like oh, it's two hundred bucks. Let's try it out. See what happens. And I started my ad structure from your stuff at night. I didn't finish the rest of the uh, classes yet online for a couple of days. Um, but the marketing was the night, the more, number one, I, I wanted the thing done. So I know without deal flow, things like that, I mean, you can have three eight gallon a minute units, but if you don't have a deal, you're just as good as somebody with a two and a half gallon, you know, low special, whatever you want to call it. So right. getting, getting the deal started was by far my number one strategy. Um, started your ad, I think I put $25, $50 down. And I had six, I closed six of seven deals the next day for a total of $4,000. Oh my God. It was really, really good. My wife was a, you know, I have a full-time job still. And currently, what's today, 9.15? As of 9.15, I have a full-time job. Hopefully wow. not too much longer. Um, but I was like, hey, baby, this is really taking off. The profit margins, you know, she's super, super business oriented and uh, she's brilliant. So once right. I was able to bring some cold hard cash back home after a week of work, she was like, okay. Yeah, okay, on. Tyler, I don't mean to backtrack here, but I think you just need to say it again one more time. So you purchased a course at two hundred dollars. Right. You started running ad strategies the next night, and then you landed four thousand dollars worth of jobs. And how long? Uh, it was. It was. I finished them all in the next week and a half to two weeks, depending. 
Um, so I had seven calls total, seven, whether it was email message, phone calls, things like that. I closed right. six or seven the very next day. I remember I was so excited. I left work after like two hours. Like, I got to go work on this, you know? <laughs> that is incredible. So $4,000 worth of work after purchasing the course in about a week and a half, right? Yeah, definitely. So I finished the, just the marketing side. So what you specialize in, some of the Facebook stuff. So I only do Facebook. Um, that's what I'm really hot and heavy on. That's what, you know, guys in my area like Scott really focused on. Because obviously it's so effective. You know, everybody from your your nine year old, my niece and nephews have Facebook. Through some of my clients are seventy plus years old, they have Facebook. So right. you know, the age range is, is fantastic. Have you? I know Scott Lett landed a twenty five hundred dollar commercial job. Oh, yeah. Have you been able to land any big commercial jobs using the Facebook ad strategy? Yeah, definitely. So there was a, a fifteen hundred dollar job I did in Claymore. It was uh, doing a lot of concrete, a lot of flat work, a little roof cleaning too. Uh, but most of what I do is residential. So. I have, my sister is a really aggressive and powerful realtor in our area and she's really, really good at what she does. So, and through the years I made a lot of friends in her industry without really knowing about it. Right. I know the realtors, they work together. Um, finally, I was able to kind of help them out. You know, the house looks better and, and it sells for more, they make more money. So it's kind of this full circle moment for everybody. Um, so I've gotten really tight knit into the realtor group and uh, you know, the Tulsa, Claymore, Wasso, Oklahoma area and made some really great connections. Um, so they're making more money. Obviously, they're throwing a lot of deals and stuff my way. So whether it's from roof washing, house washing, a lot of concrete flat work. Um, and, and surprising what nobody's really tapping into is like fence cleanings. So if you have like a cedar fence or a maple fence or some kind of fence like that, it looks old and dingy, you don't have to take a pressure washer to it. Um, if you're smart about it, you can be a little chemist and safely mix some chemicals together. Um, you can do a lot of fence without a lot of work and a little amount of time. Right. So you, you mentioned that you made $4,000 in about a week and a half after implementing some of the strategies. Would you say that's something that you could continue to get a, that kind of recurring return on? Oh, yeah. It's continued. Um, I know for the 4000 week, it was I actually completed the work within about a week and a half, two weeks, cause just because it takes a lot of time Absolutely. between my full-time job and doing those. So I was able to part-time on the side pressure washing, soft washing, make that $4,000. Um, so it's been the same thing week over week. So um, I do the same ad strategies that you advise on Facebook, you know, your structuring and strategies and stuff. Right. Um, Scott and I, we talk a lot about pricing strategies. So that's something you, you hit on a lot in, uh, on your, your training course, which is super valuable. Right. Uh, but since Scott and I know our areas really well, we kind of talk about what pricing works for flat work. So it's a roof wash, one story, two story, those kind of things that maximize our, our amount of monies and maximize our yeses. That way we're closing those deals to keep the deal flow going for sure. And that's one of the benefits of having somebody in your area that you can kind of go back and forth on on quotes. So I'm so happy that you guys don't view one another as competition because in reality, there is no competition. You know what I mean? There's so much potential business out there for, for, for everyone. And like you mentioned, there's so many little niches that guys just don't even know about. They don't know how to market towards like like the wood fence cleaning. So. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for Scott that you guys can kind of work together on everything. So you mentioned that you're relatively new into the business. Um, what is your current equipment setup um, that you're so, Yeah, I started this out. Um, I had a little 2.5 gallon garage sale unit. I had my wife's um, hose reel and like a, a 5 eighths hose, like 100 footer, you know, and I had a $45 backpack spray. It's in my truck. I get it out. And I grinded with those three pieces and I had a little, um, it was like a $40 surface cleaner you get from like Atwoods or Lowe's or something like that. And let's see, the pressure washer was 200, backpack spray was 40, and the hose reel was free because my wife had it and I had to get it back. <laughs> so I had $240 and I, I did some jobs the tough way, uh, meaning I didn't have the fancy equipment. I had to get on roofs, you know, I had to scale some pretty steep stuff. I did a lot of flat work with a little, little unit, obviously two and a half gallons is a lot. It'll get you in the doors. You can close some deals and you'll work hard. Beautiful. It's okay to start with the two and a half gallon units because those get you the money money coming. Just don't blow it. Don't go buy stuff with it. Save the money, invest it back into a unit where you're you're doing roof washes and you're not leaving the ground. I mean, that's that's the safe stuff you should be putting your money towards. But yeah, reinvest your money, obviously in advertising, yeah. obviously in, in equipment. And I think you did it the right way. You know, you, you're still working your day job and look yeah. at how much business you've able to, you've been able to accomplish. So uh, I think that's a great example to set for guys. Don't quit your day job. Keep everything going. Reinvest. Um, last thing, uh, Tyler, what advice would you give to guys who are looking to get into the business? Um, just kind of coming in as you were. Yeah, of course. Um I have a, a specific learning style. I over-educate myself just because that's like kind of a, an ADHD thing I have. Um, I over-analyze and hyper, you know, over over criticalize everything. So it's right. making it super tough not to not to understand things. 
Um, but if you want to have a really bad day, say you're new to the industry, like, hey, I got my, my downstreamer, and I've got my, my SH mix. And if you want to have a really bad day, overmix SH on somebody's personal property or plants and stuff. And uh, you're going to wish you would have learned a little more for sure. So spend right. some time, learn, you know, buy the course. I couldn't. You know, I got it at a good deal. I, I don't know what it is now. I think it's around when two two ninety nine is where it's at now. Right, and it's going up too. So it should go up. It should go up. You know, the course um, it's it's easily worth five thousand um, dollars. Follow the course, um, especially on the chemical breakdowns and kind of the chemical or I'm sorry, the machine builds and the. Cause I think Aaron goes in detail on it. He just updated a new one on Mad Max too. Yeah. Right. I don't deal. know if you've seen that yet, but it's man, he's got a nice rig. Yeah, I saw the first fifteen minutes of. I need to finish that fifteen or seven minutes, but it's strong, right. dude. It is. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really good. No, absolutely, man. That's like one of my. That would be my dream build. If I was gonna build one, I'd build it exactly like that. If I was gonna do it again, I wouldn't do a trailer. I would do a skid. Um, but I really like being able to throw my surface cleaner and ladder in the back of my truck bed and go. So of there's course. give and take to everything. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Tyler, thank you so much for coming on. Every guest that comes on has to pick the word of the day. What would you like the word of the day to be? Um, mindset. Come at it strong, come at it confident, educate yourself, give yourself the backbone to speak clearly with your guests and inform them and your customers know exactly what the expectations are. Okay, excellent. If guys have made this far in the video, comment down below mindset and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. If you want to check out the course, it'll be the first link in the comment section description. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.